We praise thee, O God. We acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To thee cherubim and seraphim continually do cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of Sabaoth. Heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. The noble army of martyrs praise thee. The holy church throughout all the world doth acknowledge thee. The father of an infinite majesty, thine honourable, true and only son, also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ, Thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst not abhor the virgin's womb. When thou hast overcome the sharpness of death, thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, Help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints, in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine heritage. Govern them, and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify thee, and we worship thy name, ever world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy lighten upon us, as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, save the Queen, who putteth her trust in thee. Send her help from thy holy place, and evermore mightily defend her. Let her enemies have no advantage of her, nor the wicked approach to hurt her. O Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come unto thee. Let us pray. O God, who providest for thy people by thy power, and rulest over them in love, vouchsafe so to bless thy servant our Queen, that under her this nation may be wisely governed, and thy church may serve thee in all godly quietness and grant that she, being devoted to thee with her whole heart, and persevering in good works unto the end, may, by thy guidance, come to thine everlasting kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Ghost, ever one God, world without end. Amen. O Lord, our God, who upholdest and governest all things by the word of thy power. Receive our humble prayers for our Sovereign Lady Elizabeth, as on this day set over us by thy grace and providence to be our Queen. And together with her, bless we beseech thee, Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, Charles, Prince of Wales, and all the royal family, that they ever trusting in thy goodness protected by thy power, and crowned with thy gracious and endless favour, may long continue before thee in peace and safety, 
joy and honour, and after death may obtain everlasting life and glory by the merits and mediation of Christ Jesus our Saviour, who with thee and the Holy Ghost liveth and reigneth ever one God, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, who rulest over all the kingdoms of the world, and dost order them according to thy good pleasure, we yield thee unfeigned thanks, for that thou wast pleased, as on this day, to set thy servant, our sovereign lady, Queen Elizabeth, upon the throne of this realm. Let thy wisdom be her guide, and let thine arm strengthen her. Let truth and justice, holiness and righteousness, peace and charity abound in her days. Direct all her counsels and endeavours to thy glory, and the welfare of her subjects. Give us grace to obey her cheerfully, for conscience' sake, and let her always possess the hearts of her people. Let her reign be long and prosperous, and crown her with everlasting life in the world to come. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, our only Saviour, the Prince of Peace, give us grace seriously to lay to heart the great dangers we are in by our unhappy divisions. Take away all hatred and prejudice, and whatsoever else may hinder us from godly union and concord. That, as there is but one body and one spirit, and one hope of our calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of us all, so we may henceforth be all of one heart and of one soul, united in one body, bond of truth and peace, of faith and charity, and may with one mind and one mouth glorify thee, through Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen. Almighty God, the fountain of all wisdom, who knowest our necessities before we ask, and our ignorance in asking, we beseech thee to have compassion upon our infirmities, and those things which for our unworthiness we dare not, and for our blindness we cannot ask. Vouchsafe to give us for the worthiness of thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. <laughs>